I was scrolling YouTube this morning and I saw Joshua Smith's top eight regional deck profile. And in it, he showcased a really cool combo that lets you go for game very easy in the sprite deck if you're playing the card Nimble Sunfish. I People haven't been playing Sunfish yet, and so I doubt outside of the people that have seen his video that this combo is really known. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys how it worked real quick so you can either consider these cards for your deck or keep it in mind when you're playing against sprite. And so this combo requires your opponent to have a monster. So you're obviously you're going second. It's an OTK line, not an FTK line. And it requires the use of a Ninjo Shadow Mosquito plus a Sunfish. I put a 2,000 attack beater on their side of the field so that it'll take four hits to kill them, basically. But if you're playing the entire Nimble package and didn't have to use it in order to get to this point, this combo can do it with a lot smaller monsters. You, I was thinking about it with like Havnus being 1,600. You can do it with that and then still have more bodies to do more damage. But to even for that to even make sense to you, I kind of have to show you how the combo works. So all you need to, is to have number two Ninja Shadow Mosquito on field and Nimble Sunfish on field, both in attack position, obviously. And then you go to the battle phase, and they have to have a monster. If you guys don't know what number two does yet, you probably should, because I think a lot of players have been playing this in their sprite decks. But if you, if you haven't been, I'll teach you what it does right now, and you'll probably put it in your sprite deck or be ready for it. So it says... It takes two plus level two monsters. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage from battles involving this card. All monsters your opponent controls must attack. And when an attack is declared, you can activate one of these effects. Detach one material from this card. And if you do, place one hallucination counter on one face-up monster your opponent controls. The effects of any of monsters with hallucination counters are negated. I Honestly, I didn't even know it negated effects too until I just read that part right now. But that's not even like what we're using this combo for. The, that We use that effect to place the counter, but then the next effect is if, if ugh, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of one monster with hallucination counters. And so the combo is basically you attack into their guy with your ninja, your ninja shadow mosquito, you use its effect detach, and you place the counter. It, it's not letting me put a counter on the card because it's on the other side of the field, but there's a counter there. And now it's every time a monster attacks, not once per turn. It's not just when this monster attacks or once per turn when any attacks. So next we're going to swing in with Sunfish into the monster. We're going to take a 1,000, but we're going to activate this effect. We do not have to detach for this one. They take 2,000. So I'm going to use my life to showcase uh, our opponent's life. Boom. So they take 2K off of us attacking into their monster. Next, we're going to trigger Sunfish's effect when it's destroyed by battle, which is going to let us, what's it called? Send a fish monster from the deck to the graveyard to special summon another nimble Sunfish from the deck. So we're going to go into the deck. We're going to dump Angler to special summon Sunfish. And then we're going to trigger Angler because it was sent from hand or deck to the graveyard to special summon two beavers. Now we can run beaver into their guy. They're going to take another 2,000. It takes more time putting the damage in than it actually does say in the words. Attack with another beaver, another 2,000, and then we finish them off attacking with the nimble sunfish. But here, say that this wasn't enough to kill. Say this was only a haveness, right? I'll even give him the haveness. I got it here locked and loaded, ready to go. Say he had haveness instead. Instead of being 8,000 damage, that would have only been 64, so he still has another 16. We can trigger this sunfish. Which, again, which is going to let us dump, because this card's also not once per turn, it's just when it's destroyed by battle. Dump an Angler, special summon our last Sunfish, and then trigger Angler to summon Beaver. Now we swing that into the Havness. They take the last 16, they're dead. But we still have one more body that can swing. So what that kind of means is that you can get access to this line. Say you're trying to play through Interruptions first, because it's never going to be this simple of a game where they just have one monster, you just have to put this up, they're going to have interruptions. You're going second. got to play through stuff. You could use your um, your Sprite Sprint sending an angler to get some bodies and attempt to play and work through what they have because you don't need every single body, the bigger their monsters are. If they got a 25 or a 3,000, like just the bigger it is, the, the less amount of attacks you need. But you also like you have six te technically six attacks if you like normal summon sunfish and didn't use one. So this is just a really cheeky way to be able to go for a game in a deck that sometimes has problems dealing damage. But that's about it for this video, guys. I know it's a short one. I recommend going to check out his list. If I remember to, I'll link it in the description too. Shout out him for coming up with this. And shout out myself for showcasing it. Like and subscribe.